Storm Trucker weather starts now with meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. We do have multiple weather alerts in effect for this upcoming weekend. We have a high wind watch in effect for the Rocky Mountain Front as well as some locations adjacent to the Rocky Mountain Front. This goes in effect 11 a.m. Saturday morning and will remain in effect until 5 a.m. Sunday morning. Sustained wind speeds are going to be between 35 and 45 miles per hour and wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour are going to be possible at times. And in some of the wind prone locations along the Rocky Mountain Front, we could actually see some gusts up to 85 miles per hour at times. There's also a winter storm watch in effect for the Little Belt Mountains and the Highwood Mountains from 12 a.m. on Sunday until 6 a.m. on Monday. This is where 6 to 12 inches of snow accumulation is going to be possible during the day on Sunday, which is going to create some hazardous travel conditions in those mountains. Now for your day today, we have had mostly cloudy to overcast skies throughout the day on the Opportunity Bank iCam. And in Helena, we really haven't seen much in the way of precipitation, primarily just some flurries. But there have been some scattered snow showers around in other locations around the Helena area, especially in the Big Belt and Little Belt Mountains. We actually had a report of about four inches of snow just to the north of York. And we did see some snow accumulation in the mountains, but in the lower elevations, little to no snow accumulation did occur in most spots. As we go through the rest of tonight, that disturbance will work its way out of our area, allowing high pressure to build into our area for tomorrow and Saturday. So the weather is going to be fairly nice for the next couple of days. Now, as we take a look at future track going through this evening and into tonight, we'll continue to have a few scattered snow showers around, especially in the higher elevations, but that snow shower activity will continue to work its way southward and will gradually taper off over the next several hours. We're also going to have partly cloudy skies tonight. Tomorrow, we are going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies and mainly dry conditions throughout the day. The wind is not going to be a huge issue tonight, but there will be a bit of a breeze around, especially later on tonight along the Rocky Mountain front. And then for tomorrow, it is going to be breezy in some areas with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. Wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour are going to be coming or possible at times, and that wind is going to be coming out of the west-southwest in most locations. Tonight, it is going to be a chilly night. Low temperatures are going to be in the teens and the 20s, and some locations may get down into the single digits. And then for tomorrow, high temperatures will be in the mids upper 20s and low to mid 30s, so it is going to be a seasonable day in terms of temperatures. Heading into this weekend, a little bit warmer on Saturday with mostly sunny skies and a little bit cooler as we head into Sunday. We'll be dry on Saturday, but there is going to be that snow around during the day on on Sunday right now in the lower elevations it looks like a coating to three inches of snow accumulation is possible. Notice also that the wind will not be an issue on Saturday in Helena but we're actually going to have some wind around on Sunday with breezy conditions expected. Heading into next week another disturbance is going to pass through our area later on Monday into Tuesday so there will be some scattered snow showers around with light snow accumulations possible and it will be a little bit chilly early next week with highs right around 30 degrees and then a few more snow showers are possible as we head into Wednesday but we should dry out heading into Thursday. In Great Falls, 39 tomorrow, 45 and mostly sunny on Saturday, but it's also going to be windy. And then we are going to have scattered areas of snow around on Sunday, and it will be a little bit cooler and still breezy. And then high temperatures next week will be in the mid to upper 30s for most of the week.